meteorologist Sharon Ray with your Doppler 10 weather forecast. Good afternoon, and we are into Friday. It turned out to be a hot and dry day across the area. We just missed the rain again. Couldn't get anything going here. You can see there are a couple of showers to the south and west of us, but for us, it's dry all across the coastal bend right now. All the rain from the tropical storm staying well east of us. And temperatures right now, they are very hot. In fact, it's up to 90 at Port Aransas and 97 in Corpus Christi right now after hitting 100 uh, this afternoon. 98 at Alice and the heat index over 105. You can see very uh, sticky out there again today, although we do have a very light breeze and it's not helping to cool us down much, is it? So that very light wind isn't helping much and plus coming in from the north and help to heat Corpus Christi and areas closer to the water, even to near 100 degrees. So the wind shifting around uh, because of that tropical system to our east and that's going to be the case through tomorrow. In fact, I do expect a north northeast wind very light again for Saturday and with that uh, that temperature is going to soar again could hit 100 once again but uh, as we get into Sunday notice the wind shifts directions it starts to pick up and we're back to normal here next week we'll get back to our usual breezy days especially by Tuesday and Wednesday so tonight look for lows in the upper 70s that very light breeze blowing and a very warm night across the area tomorrow these are the forecast highs nearing 100 if you go inland from Corpus Christi at 99 to 101 degrees but you get closer to the beaches it's hot but 89 to Port Aransas. You might hit 90 tomorrow as we do see that wind very light even at the beaches tomorrow. So tomorrow's forecast, you can see those temperatures climb fast. In fact, with that light north wind, we're looking at lots of sunshine, but we will have some clouds coming in from the uh, tropical storm or actually hurricane in the early morning if it turns into one. And you can see that temperature soaring into the upper 90s. All right, check the beach forecast for tomorrow. We're still looking at lower uh, waves and swells off the coast. So tomorrow still looks like it's decent, but we'll have to watch tomorrow night and into Sunday. These numbers could go up, but we're looking at a two foot wave tomorrow. Uh, east wind to north wind 8 to 14 and those upper 80s at the beaches. The rip current risk may come up tomorrow night and Sunday, so please check that and be cautious in the water. We are looking at our waves staying pretty low here. I showed this last night at 10 and it looks pretty similar today. It looks like the significant waves being formed by the storm are going to start moving in our direction, but it takes until late Saturday, Sunday, and even into Monday before they get here. So we may say, see a little bit of an increase in the seas as we're looking at two to three foot seas tomorrow into Sunday, but then they come up a little more with occasional seas up to five feet on Monday. So looking at the hurricane or the tropical storm and the clouds with it, you can see the clouds coming in from that. Look for a beautiful sunset this evening. I bet you it's going to be gorgeous with those high clouds. But you can see that system just off the coast of Louisiana. Louisiana and it's the rain, the storm surge that's going to be the biggest problem and still looking at about a big swath here of 10 to 20 inches, 4 to 8 as you go farther to the north and that bullseye fortunately has moved a little farther to the west of New Orleans. If you remember yesterday they were pretty close to that bullseye of the highest rain totals but it's shifted just a little to the west for them. For us don't expect much of any rain in the next five days. In fact, this is the five day outlook. It barely gives us anything here. We may get a stray shower, possibly up to a quarter inch. But for tomorrow, look how sunny it is. We'll see a few clouds in the sky and hot. As we head into Sunday, there are some rain showers that try and rotate around that system and clip us on Sunday. And we'll see if that happens. Hopefully we'll get one or two. Here is your seven day forecast then. As we look into the weekend, it's hot, it's mainly dry, but as I showed you, may pick up a stray shower. And then next week we stay in this pattern. That ridge of high pressure is in control all week long. And I don't see any rain, just a lot of heat and the breezes picking up.